What up, YouTube? It's your boy again, download back for another mixtape with you for today is the 30th. Yeah, it's the 30th. And, uh, <coughs> oh boy, I got a, got a nice little show here for you today. Uh, just finished watching, I mean, listening to my last mixtape that I decided I wanted to review. Is that, uh, Yo Gotti Cocaine Music 4.5? It's a Gangsta Grills mixtape. It's straight. I mean, I'm not going. I'm not going to completely hate on. Him. Like it. It is cool, man. He, he's like, Yo Gotti is like a uh, a weaker version of Young Jeezy from Memphis. But I mean, he's cool. He he does what he need to do. But there are just a couple issues that I just cannot get past, man. Like uh, one, there's a there's a song on it called "Make It Walk." Let me let me cue it up right quick for you, and let me play exactly. Like, hope you hope y'all hear this. Listen to what listen to what he says. See, I told bitches, you know what I'm saying? It's the difference between a trick and a ball. You know what I'm saying? When I come to the club, I make it rain. I break bread with you, bitches. You know what I'm saying? He said, when I come in the club, I make it rain. I break bread with you, bitches. There's a difference between a trick and a baller. I wanna see you get your nails, your hair, shit, did pay your motherfucking bills and shit. Ain't shit tricking about that, you know what I'm talking about? Said so ain't shit tricking about that. Nigga, that's motherfucking tricking. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. If I go to the strip club, them strippers get nothing from me. Nothing. But... <laughs> But I mean, that's one of my own personal bandanas. Uh, and then, uh, one thing that brought me back, like, you remember back in the days when having a Gangsta Grill mixtape actually meant something? Like, it actually meant you had the hottest mixtape on the streets. But, I mean, this mixtape was just alright. And, I mean,. I know uh, DJ Drama done sold out, started doing mixtapes with Soldier Boy and all that shit, man, and he fucked up his whole branding, but I don't, I don't care. Anyway, on to what's next. Uh, the Misunderstanding of Sharifa. If you don't know who Sharifa is, that's a singer. That uh, she was signed to DTP and then got released, and now she's trying to do her own thing. She's like a soul singer. Now, there's a little bit of background to why I wanted to review this is because Sharifa went to my school back in high school. Uh, she went to Vance High School in Charlotte, North Carolina. And <laughs> a few of my homies who probably attest to this, like the only, like my homeboy, Young S, Young Hennessy now. He, he described the reason why she got signed to DTP is because of that fat ass. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm not going to not deny such things. I'm not going to deny such things. I'm going to just plead the fifth and just let that go. <laughs> but I listened to a CD, I mean, a little mixtape of like 13 songs. And she got a very raspy voice, man. And on that soul that... That sometimes, like it could buy do kind of like she's trying to be, but you can fuck with it sometimes, you can't fuck with it other times. It, it, it was, I mean, I downloaded it, I got a couple jams off of it. I picked up like a good two, two, two solid jams off of it that I, I fuck with. But, I mean, unless you're into this, unless you're into that type of thing, I wouldn't actually download it. Um, and then, then, let me take it back, my, my dog, Freddie Gibbs, then dropped a mixtape mix tape called Killer No Filler. And you know, I'm now to the point that if you don't fuck with Freddie Gibbs, man, you probably don't fuck with me. Because Freddie Gibbs is the illest nigga out. Oh, coming out. Like, honestly, I should have added him 
in the last, my last mixtape review, instead of doing that Drake, no more thank yous, but this mixtape just dropped a, yesterday or two days ago. And I wish I could have put it in there instead of that bullshit. But honestly, the mixtape isn't great. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, I like the solid four or five songs. But, I mean, t for me, that's, that's honestly a lot. But... For a lot of you, that's probably not sounding too good. But in essence, he dropped this as a uh, as a mixtape for his EP coming out, which is coming out tomorrow, I do believe. And I'm a cop that shit. I haven't copped a CD since the AZ Gold, Oil, and Diamonds, which was earlier this. I'm sorry. But I can't listen to I Go Ham by Yo Gotti with Gucci in it. But that was the last CD I caught. And this one, I gotta, I mean, I, I believe it's gonna be downloaded on iTunes. I hope there's an actual CD so I can go in the Best Buy and buy that shit. But there ain't no telling. But I mean, I would definitely download Freddie Gibbs' Killer No Filler just off of one song. He makes, if you listen, he got one song called, uh, Matter of fact, I'm playing instead of playing this. Uh, I already put it on my MP3 player. Shit. I ain't even got it. Uh, but he got one song where he sampled some of uh, UGK. It's one of the most phenomenal songs I've ever heard in my life, man. When he makes songs that I like, I fucks with these songs forever, like the never ending struggle. Another never ending cycle. Look that up on YouTube. Look up uh, another day in my hood. I fuck with that. Look that up on YouTube. On this, uh, like live in the game and in the game, I'ma die. Realest shit ever. Check that out. Download that mixtape, man. You got to download that. But anyway, this your boy Download coming at you again. Thank you for all the love and. Holla back at me, man. What?